Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Well, I'm shooting this a little before the market closes, a little over 20 minutes before the market closes. And we're down a bit today, 1.33% as I record this. We'll see how we actually end up. But, you know, 1.3%, it's not really all that much, is it? Uh, but notably, NVIDIA is down just a little bit. And the market's down a fair amount. Really, that's because of a lot of the other Magnificent 7 stocks, notably Apple, because Apple is seeing lower sales in China now, or at least forecasting them uh, because of the changes by President Xi over there in um, for their economy and such. Now, speaking of economies and speaking of the market, I do want to point something out here. The economy is not the market. Uh, this morning, when I was thinking about what video I was going to shoot, I thought about doing one about no landing, uh, which has been sort of a buzz phrase in the news lately, meaning that the economy is not necessarily going to bottom out. It's going to remain strong, uh, that there's not going to be a hard landing or a soft landing. It's just going to keep growing strong. And that still may actually be the case, and that's unrelated to any moves in the market. I mean, look. NVIDIA has just shot up massively, driving its P.E. ratio higher and higher and higher. And that's one of the main things that drives stock prices. And so naturally, there ends up being a pullback. And hey, you know, this is a really small one for NVIDIA. But this is it as of now and could be more later. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was a lot more later. Uh, and, and that's OK, too. That is unrelated to how many overall jobs are being created in the economy. It's unrelated to uh, GDP overall, the price of NVIDIA stock or the price of any stock for that matter. So we look at both of these things differently. They obviously do have somewhat of a correlation, but they're not entirely cor correlated. They do represent different things. And so we're going to have to think about both individual stock prices of individual stocks, as well as the macro information like jobs, of which the jobs report is coming out this Friday, mind you, and interest rates of which we're going to be listening to Fed speakers this week as well, and make our decisions based on all of these things. I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.